Welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm happy to be bringing you guys again my review of Rihanna's Riri Kiss. So this perfume launched this year, technically um, at the end of last year as well, 2017, 2016, and is the third edition in the Rihanna uh, Riri namesake series. So I'm redoing this video. If you guys watched yesterday, I did upload a video of this. Um, and the reason I'm redoing this video is because I was given inaccurate information and I'm still kind of a little bit salty about it. Um, I gave you guys a review yesterday based on some notes that I was given, um, slash I had confirmed, and turned out they were not the accurate, accurate notes. I've gotten the real, uh, true notes now and I'm going to redo this review and it's the first time I've ever completely redone a review on my channel. So I'm completely redoing this, and I'm kind of glad because there's a couple things I forgot to do in the last video that I wanted to do in this one. So, anyway, the box looks like this, and it says Kiss by Rihanna, Eau de Parfum Spray 3.4 ounce, um, 100 milliliter. And this is the, uh, like this just gorgeous ad of Rihanna for the Kiss ad, and it's a slip case just like we had on um, Crush. And then up here it says Kiss by Rihanna. You've got this golden knot kind of bow style thing that goes all the way around the bottle, or the box, and the bob the box is kind of a baby blue color, and it's kind of also slightly pearlescent. I don't know if that's really picking up, but it is slightly pearlescent. Um, down here, it's got the same uh, kind of information that was on the bottom of the uh, slip cover. So, um, top just says Riri by Rihanna because this is the Rihanna Riri namesake series, and then the bottom you just have this information. So. There's that, and then the bottle looks like this this time, and is a baby blue color. The fluid itself is not actually colored. Um, the bottle itself is what is kind of this baby blue color, and I really, really, really like this color. As you turn the bottle, as you can see, it kind of um, gets more of that um, blue color that you can pick up. When you look at it in person, you can definitely see the blue, but on camera, it's really not picking up the best. Um, it just says Kiss by Rihanna here, um, the flat top bottom like normal, and then you've got this golden topper with the knot going around it up there, and then you've got the sprayer that removes like that, and then you've just got your traditional golden sprayer. So, with this one, there was no actual free gift. Um, they did have this as a free gift um, on Macy's website for anything from the Rihanna uh, fragrance series. And for some reason, if you ordered Kiss, you didn't get this. Um, I actually got this from Kohl's just because I really wanted this bag, just because I love kind of all the little details that are going on. You got Riri, you've got Crush, you got some earrings, some lips, um, which I feel like when she did this, it was kind of a peek at like the next perfume was going to be called Kiss because there's kisses on it. Um, but I just think this is super cute, and it does say that it's, you know, a free gift with any purchase from there. I have a bunch of fabric stuff inside of it, but it's just a uh, black interior here. I just stuffed a bunch of fabric in it so that the box would stay, it would stay in its box shape while I had it on display. So, the real notes for Rihanna's Riri Kiss. Top notes, Neroli, Juicy Plum, and Freesia. Middle notes are Orange Blossom, Gardenia, and Asian Peony, with your base notes of Cashmere, Cedarwood, Ambrus, and Vanilla Musk. So, if you guys got a chance to watch my original Kiss review before I removed it, some of the things I said in that, um, I did say that it was a very unique fragrance, and the way that the notes were, you know, kind of presented in it was a very different, and um, some of the notes were a very different version of them. That was because the notes were not correct. Um, so I was smelling things completely different than what they really were. So, when you first, first spray this, um, you get the plum. Like, the plum is, like I had said in the other review, the plum is very standout in this fragrance. Um, which is why I was really confused why the original notes I had listed had plum in the base. So, when you first spray it, you get that plum. But then, the Neroli and the Freesia are there, both giving it kind of a floral top. Um, this whole fragrance is very much a classic, um, 
floral fragrance, which I find gorgeous. It's probably my favorite Rihanna fragrance, um, and definitely my favorite out of the Riri collection. It has a sweetness to the entire fragrance, too, which I feel like they're, the cashmere and the cedarwood and, the, like, the, the base adds kind of, like, this warm sweetness to the entire fragrance, and you can definitely tell that it's a vanilla musk versus just being a normal musk, because there is a slight vanilla tinge to this fragrance, um, but it isn't, like, super, like, balls to the wall vanilla. It has just a little bit of a vanilla touch to it. Um, as it starts to dry down, you get more of those floral hearts. You get the orange blossom, you get the gardenia, um, and you definitely get the Asian peony. The Asian peony, I also feel like, adds, um, a sweetness to it. If you've ever smelled a peony, they are kind of musky and powdery, but at the same time, they do have a little bit of a sweetness to them. And peonies are actually one of my favorite flowers. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but, um, as it starts to dry down and get more into that heart, it definitely shows itself more of it being a white floral. Um, one of my friends had asked me, do I feel like this is representational of the color blue? And I'm not going to say no, because it's definitely not, like, I don't want to say no, it's not a blue fragrance. Um, it has things that make you think of blue, and by that it's kind of vintage-y. Um, but I don't want to say that making it sound like it's a super old fragrance, because it's definitely not. I feel like this is a modern twist for a younger generation on a vintage fragrance. Um, so I feel like the blue is representatory of it for that way, but it's definitely not aquatic in any way, um, which I feel like a lot of people take when they see a blue fragrance bottle, they go aquatic. And I definitely don't feel like this is aquatic. Um, as it starts to dry down more, though, and you get into the base, the vanilla musk comes out, the cashmere definitely kind of, they all come out and kind of create this soft, cozy base. Um, but definitely those florals from the top and the uh, heart never really go away. They kind of just transform more into the base. Um, and you kind of get this beautiful white floral fragrance. Definitely perfect for daytime wear, definitely perfect for office wear. Um, it gives you a good sillage, like it projects out pretty far. Um, and by that, I mean, it gives you, like, if you walk by somebody, they would notice you and say, oh, you smell really good, but it isn't one of those fragrances when you walk in a room, you're going to make a statement, which is really good if you're walking into an office or something. You don't want to be that person who everyone knows wears that extremely strong perfume and it's ridiculous because it's definitely not one of those fragrances. And that's what I like about this is it's soft, slightly sweet, but it isn't like teeny bopper candy sweet. It's definitely a more mature edge for Rihanna, which I really like for her, because I feel like none of her fragrances smell the same, and they all have a different approach to them, which I love, that she kind of takes every fragrance head on and does something a little bit different with this. And I feel like this is more... I definitely feel like this ad is very representatory of how this fragrance smells, because this is very... This is very what this fragrance smells like. Very... Sexy, lingerie, soft, sweet. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, Lasting Power, I get about nine hours out of this fragrance. I wore it to work, um, and I could still smell it when I got off work last night. It wasn't super strong, but it was definitely, if I put my nose to my skin, I could definitely still smell it. Um, I definitely feel like this is a late winter, early spring type fragrance, but definitely could be worn all year round, and definitely could be someone's daily signature scent. Um... But definitely is a daytime fragrance. I feel like it could be paired with maybe Riri or maybe even Rogue Love to create kind of a daytime, a date night, nighttime fragrance. Um, but definitely by itself is a daytime fragrance. So there you guys go. There is my review of Rihanna's Riri Kiss. I'm so sorry that um, I gave you guys inaccurate information for the first time and I, it kills me that that happened because it really should not have happened, and I'm very, 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 very sorry for that. Um, I try to come with my channel with a professional um, attitude and professional be the one that gives you guys the accurate information. I feel really bad that I wasn't able to give that information accurately the first time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, and as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye!